what is up you guys welcome back i look red because i've just been outside and i also just put these earrings back in and now this ear hurts but i got these earrings from adina's jewels they're really pretty i love them anyway okay i look crazy because like i said i've been outside my hair was flowing in the wind and this is just how i look after i get back from being outside but it's worse when my hair is um not original but uh anyway today i have done some shopping and i wanted to show you guys what i got and um also i have decided that i want to tiptoe dabble back into doing makeup and stuff so i'll show you that stuff at the end but yeah anyways we're just gonna get started with the video and i will show you guys what i got so i went to a few different stores i went to fred meyer um target and dollar tree i actually just got back from dollar tree now so we'll start with dollar tree because i don't know it's i guess least exciting but i was watching laura lee's video she posted i think today or yesterday of like a dollar tree haul like the best things you need to buy and so i got in my car drove to the dollar store and bought a few of the items um some items that she got were similar but um not necessarily my style but like for the same purpose i want to use them for so anyway we'll just get the random stuff out of the way so Okay, tortilla strips are delicious in salad, soup. My favorite um, food to put these in is the Panera broccoli cheddar soup. Putting these in there makes it taste so good. Gives it like a little bit of crunch. And that you can find, at first I thought it was only at Target, but I've seen it at other grocery stores too. Anyway, I got some tortilla strips. And the only other food item I got are these i got these chicken salad with crackers little like to go things i tried one of these one time a long time ago and i can't remember if i i think i liked them but i think i had a fish one not a chicken salad so anyway we'll see i got two just in case i liked them i didn't want to have to go back so i got that and then i got these little I don't know like small dipping dishes it just says bowls but like you can use for like sauces and stuff but i don't have any bowls like this for when i have like chips and salsa or like need to put like ketchup in here so i can dip my fries or whatever in them so i got these and i can get a set of four for a dollar so i mean why not get them oh my gosh i look so just disheveled <laughs> anyway okay carrying on i got this cute little jar um you can put literally anything in here but i got it specifically to house my cotton balls because i bought nail a couple nail polishes today and i didn't have cotton balls for one i don't have any nail polish remover hmm. i'm gonna have to think about that but Got cotton balls, got a cute little jar to put them in, and yeah, that's that. And next thing, I got one of these like loofahs for Kyle because he prefers the one that's on the stick and you know, like this. And these, despite being from the Dollar Tree, they last, I mean, a fair amount of time, pretty similar to what like a normal loofah scrubber would from a store. Um, but Anyway, got one of these and I got the green one because it matches the one that I have because it's like this color. I don't know if you can like really tell, but it's like a ombre color. Anyway, got that for Kyle. And then I got this, which everybody and their mom talks about like when they organize their fridge. I actually got two different fridge items. 
Um, I got this to house cans. I mean, you don't have to put this in your fridge. You can put it in like your pantry for like soups and stuff, but I want to use it in the fridge for canned beverages, which is mostly just sparkling water because that's the only canned beverage I ever buy. So I got this. I mean, why spend more than a dollar if you don't have to? It is plastic normally though. I mean, they're all plastic, but this is like a, like a flexible plastic, but it'll get the job done. Doesn't matter. And then I got one of these, an egg carton container. Um, the one that I was gonna buy one from Target, but obviously it was more money, but it also held like 16 eggs or something like that. And I'm like, what's the point of that? When one carton of eggs has 12 eggs. So you'd have like four spaces that are always open, unless you just buy that many eggs, I don't know. But I got this, it comes with the lid, which doesn't even like clip on. Or maybe it does and I just am dumb and... No, it doesn't clip on. I don't know. Anyway, got this to hold my eggs because it's cuter than the little brown stuff. Okay, and then this was a cute little thing I bought. The accessories on here are already mine, obviously, but I got this cute... This was just like sitting like on a random shelf. And I thought it was so pretty. It's a little like jewelry holder. But it's this like really pretty green little elephant. And so I just wrapped one necklace around here. I have these little silicone rings that I use for work um, when I don't wear my regular engagement ring. But yeah. And this is so cute. And it just like, it's so just little and perfect. And ugh, I love this. Okay. And then I bought a nail polish, which this was inspired by Laura Lee. She got a different color, but um. Anyway, oh, I didn't notice there's some on the outside. Anyway, this is just an LA, LA Colors nail polish. It's number 617. Does it have a name? I doubt it. With hardeners. Hmm. Oh. In the nude. There you have it, folks. In the nude. And this is like a, um, kind of a pinkish nude. And there was one that Laura got that was like a browner nude and I don't like brown nudes. I like more pink ones. So I got this and I think it's a really pretty color and I can't wait to paint my nails with it when I get nail polish remover. <laughs> and then um, a couple more things. I got these adorable, are you kidding me? Glass beverage mugs. Um, the only semi downside is that the handle is like kind of small, like, well, actually not really. I usually only put three fingers in anyway. Um, but these are so cute. A dollar, of course, they have a little like rimmed lip. Um, and yeah, I am so excited to have these in my collection. So excited. I've like, it's really trendy to have glass coffee mugs, usually the double insulated ones. And I've always like liked those, but I, um, one of my residents has a set. If you don't know, I work uh, with the elderly in the assisted living facility, but one of my residents has one and like seeing them in person, I'm not a fan. And I saw these and I like had to have them. I saw them, I was like, ooh, those are nice. I kept going and then I came back. I was like, kept staring at him and staring at him and I was like, okay, I just have to get it or else I'm gonna keep thinking about it, you know? It was that kind of a, a need. So I got two of these and I'm really excited. I don't drink that many hot beverages, excuse me, but when I do, I have tea and it's always cute to see like your tea in a clear mug. Anyway, okay, moving along. I do not drink wine often, but when I do, I actually recently bought two stemmed wine glasses from the Goodwill, actually. They, like one of the first days they had opened, I went there looking for other stuff and I always ponder down the um, drinkware aisle. And I saw these two stemmed glasses and they're like the, I don't know what you call it, like the squared off look where they're completely round and symmetrical. They're not like a ball on the bottom and then they get smaller. I don't know. I mean, you understand what I'm trying to say. And anyway, originally when I started drinking wine occasionally, 
Um, I am, tw how old am I? Oh my gosh, I'm 23. Uh, not okay. Anyway, I'm 23, so I'm of legal drinking age. It's not, like, don't worry. Anyway, I originally got some from Target. They were like $2 that are like, they're stemless. And there, it's like a big ball on the bottom, and then it goes into like a really skinny top. And I liked them like just temporarily, but I always knew that I wanted to get different ones. And so then I found those at the Goodwill, and I love those, but I don't always want a stemmed glass. And the other one, like I was saying, it's just the mouth area is kind of small. I don't know. So I found these at the dollar store. So they're like, I mean, it's a wine glass. And what else is cool is they can stack on top of each other like this. And I think that was pretty cool too. But they're like, I don't know. It's just like a good shape for my hand. It's obviously round on the bottom. But it's not like such a ball that it like curves out and then goes like this. It's just kind of like straight up. I don't know. It's just more my comfort, more my aesthetic. And so I got these. There's 16 ounces. And that's that. All right, we're nearing the end of the Dollar Tree items. And a few of these are um, recommended by Laura. Anyway, so like I mentioned that I want to get back into makeup. I don't have any like towels to clean my brushes or anything with. And so I just got a two pack of these like cheap black ones and they're kind of rough. So when you're like drying them off, you can like, I don't know. I feel like it scrubs better if they're a little bit rougher. So I just got a two pack of black washcloths and then this she recommended is really good to clean your brushes with so I got a single dove bar soap and lastly I got this cute jar which is technically for candles but um the way she used it in her video I guess she saw on like tiktok which I am not a tiktoker I'm not on that trend I'm not following that train I am off the train. <laughs> um, anyway, she saw it on TikTok, and so I got the same glass. They actually only had one of these left, too, so I was lucky. But they had it for hair ties. And since I'm always, like, I feel like I'm always on the hunt to find a good way to organize my hair ties. And I used to have a jar for them, but it was bigger, and now I just don't have the space for it. Um, like, on my counters or whatever. And so I wanted something a little bit slimmer, a little bit sleeker looking. And once I take the sticker off, it'll of course look better, but yeah. So I brought some hair ties and they just, I don't know. It's kind of nice to just see them like in there and you can see what colors you have. And obviously because it's clear, but the other jar that I had was um, not clear. It was like, I probably showed you guys in like a video way back when, but it was a pineapple. It was like a rose gold pineapple jar. Anyway, okay, that's everything I got from the Dollar Tree. A good bit of stuff. And moving along to the more beauty items. So this actually got off Amazon, but I wanted to include it because it goes with the theme. So I, a few weeks ago, we ran out of face wash, so I like bought a new one. But the one that I bought, I don't like. And it like, I feel like it really broke me out, even though like having to wear a mask and everything, especially at work, you sweat, of course, while you're walking around, running around, whatever. But I feel like that face wash and possibly in combination with my um, moisturizer, I think was old or like nearing to be old. And so it just wasn't working out. So I bought this one, the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Oil-Free Salicylic Acid Acne Medication green tea and bamboo scrub it says new formula anyway i got this i used it today and i feel like it's very nice like my skin feels very soft feels very clean i also got a new moisturizer it's the cetaphil like daily moisturizing lotion that's really nice too normally i've just been using cerave but that's a little bit thicker because it's like a body lotion and the Cetaphil, the reason I got that one over the CeraVe was because the Cetaphil was on sale. That's just the way it is. Anyway, back to this. So I really like this. I've obviously only used it once, but it's great. Highly recommend. And it's a moderate exfoliator. And to wash my face 
I used this. This is the Eco Tools Facial Cleansing Brush. I bought this. I actually, obviously, like I just said, I used it already, but I put it back in here for the purpose of the video. Um, this is pretty gentle, which was nice. And it's, I'll take it back out, but it's very nice and handheld. It's weighted and it can um, stand up on its own, which I thought was cool. Does it have anything on here? It's designed with dermatologist tested bristles for deep pore cleansing and exfoliation. Cruelty free recycled materials, 100% vegan, which is great as well. We love sustainability. Anyway, the bristles are still wet, obviously, but it's just like this cute little handheld guy. It's all gray. It's kind of heavy at the top, but it does like stand up on its own. It's not going to stand up in my hand, but I promise you it stands up. Um, I would say even though that says it, um, deep pore cleansing and exfoliation, I wouldn't say these bristles are exfoliating because they're very soft. Like, in like using these two together, I felt the exfoliation of this more so over this. Now, maybe if I use like a regular non-exfoliating cleanser, I would feel like the exfoliation of this, but just like touching it, it is very soft. So... If you've always wanted to try like a facial brush but don't want to spend a bunch of money, this was a great deal. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys how much everything was. Oh, well, that's okay. I just started. <laughs> this was $3.99. This was $5.99, which I think is a pretty good price for this like little gadget. Um, <coughs> I will say though, just first time use. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Maybe you can. You can see it like some of the hairs came out a little bit right there. I don't know if you can really tell, but... Anyway, just keep that in mind. Maybe because I was a little bit too harsh. I don't know. But anyway, I like it anyway. I'm going to keep using both of these. And the moisturizer, of course. And the moisturizer was on sale for $10. And then this. Okay. I haven't straightened my hair in a long time. Which I didn't. I don't really ever feel the need to. But as you can see, my hair is wild. Even though, like, some of it looks not terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> And so I found this one, and the reason I picked this one was A, the price. B, um, it's a Smart Pro sensor tech. Okay, so I got the Remington Pro Smart Pro sensor technology with Smart Moisture Sensing technology. The Smart Sensor prevents damage from overheating. It has can go up to 450 degrees, 30 second heat up, digital controls, and five heat settings. It auto shuts off. There's a hinge lock and a tangle free cord which was cool but it also on the back like depending what you want to do or what kind of hair you have it tells you what kind of temperature your the flat iron should be at so like fine or easy to style you know this level color treated this level textured this level thick or hard to style you know you want to increase but I thought that was pretty cool. I just left it on 375 because, I mean, I don't really need anything other than that. But it is very nice. This top um, iron is like a um, glossy coating, and then this one is matte. So I felt that it was pretty easy to hold on to, too. So, anyway, this was on sale for $25. So I'm really excited to start using this. And yeah, it's one inch if I didn't say that already. <sighs> okay. Keeping going. So, on to all of the um, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I also bought the these two items um, well, this item I bought at Fred Meyer, but I didn't show it because I was not at the makeup section yet. Anyway, I got this really pretty OPI nail lacquer. It's in the shade My Chihuahua Doesn't Bite Anymore. It's a weird nail polish name. Anyway, it's this, I mean, I put it on my pinky, but it's this really pretty, like, vibrant blood orange color and I felt this was a perfect toe color and this is a perfect like fingers color and so I mean they kind of go together but I'll put this on my hands too like I don't care 
but I thought this was a really pretty and fun summer toe color. So OPI, my chihuahua doesn't bite anymore. You can't read it, but it's right there. <laughs> okay, and then this, like I said, I bought a Fred Meyer, but this is my favorite mascara. It's the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour. This is so good. Like, this is what the brush looks like. It curls your lashes really well. It doesn't um, make your lashes stick together either. And yeah, I love this. And it's like, I think it's $4.99. This was nine something, because you know, OPI is expensive for who knows what reason. Anyway, okay. And then, hello. <clears throat> I got these. I don't have anything to remove my makeup anymore, so I just bought these. They were in the section. Um, they are the All May Biodegradable Clear Complexion Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes, hypoallergenic, and they're with 100% biodegradable fibers, which is cool too. It removes makeup, gently exfoliates, and refines pores. You just get 25 in here. Um, I know I could have found these cheaper probably somewhere else, and I don't often like using makeup wipes because they're not good for the environment, but these ones are biodegradable, so I got those. Figured they wouldn't be as bad as like a regular um, remover towelette. Okay, and then carrying on with the tools, then we'll get into the makeup. So I, if you didn't know a while ago, was really into makeup, but I got rid of a lot of it because I got out of it one and two, a lot of it expired. Um, but, um, but I hate those two words together. <laughs> However. I also got rid of my brushes and tools because I didn't feel that I needed to keep them. Even though I loved some of the brushes that I had, um, I just, I got rid of them. That's just the way it is. So, I bought this Pro Eyelash Curler from e.l.f. This was like $4. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's like this gunmetal color and it has black handles. There was one that Laura actually suggested from the Dollar Tree, but they didn't have it. So, I'm glad I got this one instead like already because or else I'd be without an eyelash curler and we can't have that but yeah so I just got an eyelash curler because like I said I needed one and then I just got this brush set from Real Techniques it's the everyday essentials you get a blush brush foundation brush shadow brush highlighter and concealing brush but you also get a sponge so this was $20 at Target oh sorry now I'm moving on to Target stuff. <laughs> um, this was 20 bucks at Target. I just got this because it literally has everything that you need in it, basically. I mean, it's an everyday full face um, set. So I just got this, and I already know I love this brush. I love this sponge. I love this brush. Um, I haven't tried this one, but I'm sure it's great. And then this is, I'm assuming, the eyeshadow brush. So, yeah. All these great little brushes and for 20 bucks I didn't think it was all that bad okay then I heard like back in the day I got products that I know kind of remember people talking about so I got this one the wet and wild photo focus the rose three-in-one -one primer water I remember people really liking the rose one and uh, yeah so I bought this one this is the only facial primer and setting spray that I bought like because it's a, it can do it all so I just camera shut off okay so I just bought this one and I remember seeing a lot of people use it as their prep and their set so that's why I bought it because I know it can do it all okay I just want to I've never used one of these before obviously so let's just see oh it smells good it definitely smells like rose Ooh, that feels nice. Feels good and cooling. Do I look? Ooh, I look like I'm glistening. Okay, this is good. This was, I think, I kept the receipt. Oh my gosh, okay, $20. Okay, anyway, let's see. Uh, primers, primers. Huh? I only bought one primer. Did they bring me up for different ones? Now I'm confused. Where's the barcode on this? How did they even scan this? Oh, it's not in the package. 
Okay, now I'm really confused because, oops. Ah! Six, two, one, or seven? Seven, seven. Okay, I don't know, whatever. It was around $4, I know that. Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> And then I bought this, well, both of these things, because I remember people talking about these and saying they are really good. The Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. I got this in the shade Natural, 210 Natural. I kind of held this, there's like a clear section where it's not matte up to my arm and it looked like it would kind of match. It's a little bit lighter than my arm. My arm is pretty tan and like my face is lighter than my arm so i'm hoping this works but either way i'm gonna get tanner out as the summer goes so i'm sure it'll work for a while and then i also got the 16 hour camo concealer from elf full coverage matte i got it in the shade light sand and this didn't look too light or too dark so i just went with this one and then for powder i actually found this one on clearance it's the covergirl clean Pressed powder, normal skin. This is the shade 150 creamy beige. I got this on clearance for four dollars and eighteen cents, and it's obviously just a facial powder, but it was a beigey color. And I've heard this CoverGirl Clean line is really good, so I'm hoping because I know the they have one of this same line, but the packaging is blue and this one's brown. So I don't know the difference, but um, maybe it's depending on your skin type or something, probably. But whatever. I just got this one because it was on clearance. They actually had a few different things on clearance I was going to grab, but decided against it because you never know sometimes. But anyway, I chose this one obviously because I can tell that no one's tampered with it because all the packaging is still on. Okay, got powder. <laughs> And we got only a few more products left. I didn't buy eyeshadow because I still have an eyeshadow palette that I actually kept. Um, okay, this, everybody and their mother and their grandmother and their sisters and their nieces, nephews, brothers, uncles, I don't care. Anybody, everybody talks about this. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have never in my life tried this. Actually, um, everything I bought except for this and the makeup brushes I've never used before. So this is gonna be exciting, it's like a first impressions. Um, okay, so I bought this, everybody speaks highly of this, and I finally found just like the regular bronzer. They have a lot of different shades in this now, I guess. They had like a sun-kissed one, they have like deeper tones or lighter tones, but I just got the regular bronzer. And then for blush, I got a Milani powder blush number one romantic rose it's more like a mauvey rose color which i remember was always the kind of um ew it smells weird anyway i got this <laughs> we'll see how that goes because it really does smell weird and then lastly just for a lip gloss I just decided to get this clear one by elf it's a lip lacquer yeah I thought it was cute how it was just like hanging on the little thing but I didn't want to sit there and try and um, pick out a lip color even though I know the NYX cosmetics um, their little lip glosses that are like this big are really good I didn't want to sit there and try and find a shade that matches me and this is only like three dollars I think this I actually had a 20% off for, but it's originally like 13, 14 bucks. This I think was six or seven dollars. And this and this were each six dollars. And yeah, I think that about covers it. So that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm probably gonna have a snack, maybe drink something. And then, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.